everybody, it's Wu Tang. This is Civilization Revolution for the Xbox 360. Um, one of the very few good strategy games on the uh, Xbox 360. The Xbox 360 ended up being mostly a uh, a shooter and sports console, which is kind of annoying um, if you're into stuff other than that. But there's a lot there's a lot of good alternatives, and uh, this is definitely one of them if you're looking to get out of that, you know, Call of Duty friggin mindset etc etc um, yeah this was a pretty good game it was a pared down version of Civil uh, Civilization 4 with uh, updated graphics for the uh, for consoles um, it's got uh, a bunch of cool stuff to it uh, like I said it's pared down but it's got a lot of cool scenarios and everything in it so there's definitely a lot of stuff in there to keep uh, keep the games fresh um, I think as far as I know, this is the only civilization that's ever been on a console. Um, and as far as I know, this is the only turn-based strategy game uh, simulator, whatever, on the Xbox 360. Watch the comments immediately fucking prove me wrong here. Um, but yeah, I wanted to do something different. We've been doing a lot of shooters and... Uh, character action games and, and beat-em-ups on the site recently, uh, a couple fighting games, so I wanted to uh, mix it up and do something a little different here. Well, let's play a scenario. I like Joke Point World. Let's do that. Let's do it on medium difficulty there. Alright, uh, these are all the guys you can play as. You can do random and fix anybody. Um, they all have special units, special abilities. They get um, special bonuses for each uh, uh, each era they're in, like ancient, blah, 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 whatever. Um, we're going to go with the Americans here because one, America, and two, Factories Triple Production is, is fucking godlike. Especially if you can get to the modern era sooner. Um, I like to focus on scientific and cultural victories, and that's what I'm going to focus on here. Um, so that's what uh, that's what we'll be working with. Um, and uh, having factories that triple production make things that much easier uh, is great. It's great. I don't know if I like these town names. I think we're going to... Yeah, settle his ass. Uh, let's see, let's see. City screen. People. Can I change? I don't remember if I can change the town names in here. Oh, well, screw it. Here we go. As you can see, it's turn-based. It's going by turn. Uh, the turns will go really fast in the beginning, and then they will slow way down as we get further into the game, because there will just be, you know, a lot more going on. Ooh. This is a village. You can go there and they give you stuff. Let's see what they give you. They give me gold. They like us. And they showed me some shit to fuck up. Sweet. Um, the Mongolians, depending on, on what... Um, what's the word I'm looking for? Depending on what, uh, what style of play you have, the Mongolians are probably one of the better... <clears throat> races in this game because they don't get many bonuses but uh, when you destroy a barbarian encampment like that it turns it into a city for you so you actually get a city from that oh this is gonna suck we'll go fuck them up jesus really so i'm already at a disadvantage well that's nice we're, we're going this this is this is the one the one match oh fucking I guess we're gonna go over there. Uh, this is the one match we're playing. This isn't gonna be like play through a ton of civilization. Uh, this is gonna be <clears throat> uh, play one match kind of deal, which will probably still take a while. It's a game of civilization, and games of civilization on the PC tend to last weeks. If you do it right. Am I gonna lose this guy too? No, thank God. Okay. I gotta heal him up, and then eventually we'll be able to take that out. Uh, heal you, heal you, and then send you off to attack. Once he gets, uh, once this unit gets a veteran bonus for three victories, he'll uh, 
have a much better time taking out these barbarian encampments. Uh, get money from doing that, which is good. Set you there, build a unit. Uh, to expand your civilization, you can either capture... Um, what's the word I'm looking for? You can capture other uh, cities, uh, either through combat or uh, cultural influence. Uh, and culture, culture is overpowered as, as hell in this game. And in, in this game, if, if you have enough culture, basically any neighbors you have near you will end up getting sucked into your civilization, like immediately. It's actually, it's a cool feature for a game like this. Come on, I gotta get up on the hill. I gotta go uphill fast. All right. Uh, uh, customized name. Here we go. Uh. All of you, shut the fuck up. Shut up. Don't trip. Don't trip about Bonnerville. Damn, they gave me a... F This is gonna be tough. I might have I might have fucked up here. I might immediately lose that city of barbarians. Get in there. Teach him a lesson. There you go. Sweet, 50% combat bonus. Um your guys get upgraded as you go through and they win victories, and you get them for uh, certain milestones like winning X amount of victories, etc. Um And it's a nice system. It's a good system for, for a, a simple RTS like this here. I mean, I know I'm calling it simple, but it's still Civilization V. There's still a ton of, uh, ton of shit to this game. Damn. Down two gold before I can build my road. Oh, well. Um, the, uh, beginning game here is really micro it's really how fast can you expand while uh, while keeping your borders protected um, you don't normally run into issues with uh, uh, other civilizations in the beginning of the game sometimes you do and if you're dumb enough to immediately go and try to attack um, as soon as you meet another civilization you're gonna run into trouble because then you're gonna skew them towards uh, militarism which, uh, you're so pretty, big guy. Um, you don't necessarily want to do, because then once they start putting stuff into science and, and military um, units, um, you're going to have a harder time down the road. Hey, 80 gold. Bam! First road. That was fast. Here we go. Alright, so now that we've cleared that out, let's send you over that way. Um, the game makes it a lot easier in the long run to um, control a lot of units at once by allowing you to create armies where you can take a stack of three or more units and uh, build them in or uh, combine them into one mass unit uh, with better obviously better attacking and defensive abilities um, and it's a good system it's a it's a cool system they put in the game and it, it makes things a lot easier when you have you know 900 units and you're basically attacking across an entire other civilization and other uh, uh, country Ooh, we got another one uh, blitz is a good one so it's allow me to double attack which will help with the uh, barbarians right here in the first part of the game see I already have another attack here so clear them out and then um, whatever your highest ranked unit is um, when you combine them together, they have to be the same unit, um, but whatever your highest rank unit happens to be when you uh, uh, combine the units into an army, uh, they're the ones that, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? They're the ones that uh, come up with the bonus. So let's say um, I have like these two guys who are not veterans and I have these guys who are veterans with uh, a combat ability. When I form the army with them, they actually get that ability and the veteran status. So now I have a veteran army, a uh, veteran warrior army here. I'm going to have to wall this off soon. Um, um, and the only real unit I had to uh, 
sacrifice or put on the line was one of the units, which uh, works out really well. Let's see now. I'm gonna build barracks. Uh, what do I want to build here? I need more settlers. Rush them. Build the barracks. Okay, so now we have settlers here. Let's put them right up there on that hill. That'll work out really well. Because then I can use that as a front for uh, stemming the... Uh, looks like Japanese tide up there. Um, I'm sure they will cause us issues here in the future. Um... What should we name it? Uh, see, we already have Bonerville. Should we have Bonerville too? Uh, uh, shut the fuck up! I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. I don't. Y'all shut up. It's my game. If you want to name your cities. Build your own, build your own thing. Uh, let's see, can I build a road over here? Yep, I have exactly enough gold. Uh, you can build roads, obviously, like I've been building here between cities. Um, they don't have workers in this game, uh, which is interesting because the, most of the civilian or civilization games I have played have uh, workers who handle all the improvements and everything. In this game, the improvements are handled automatically, which is a really cool setup it's a it's a cool way to uh uh basically streamline things for a console where i'm sitting here with you know eight nine buttons and two sticks and a d-pad they gave us a caravan and there's rome let's see wrap you to rome make some gold yes let us have piazza i want pizza got that money uh, money is big in this game. In uh, Civilization 4, uh, it takes you have to uh, research some stuff before you can uh, uh, hurry production with gold. In this game, it's immediate, which is a really good design. I like it uh, built like that. Uh, it makes it a lot easier to get a uh, get a civilization up and running quickly. Uh, it's pretty cool. Exploration is obviously another big facet. As you can see, whatever I'm doing at home, I'm still using these guys to explore. Hey, another caravan. Good shit. And more people to kill. Uh, let's see. Some in Rome. Hey, I get to name some shit in your territory. Uh, customize name. Uh, field... Uh, shut up. Shut up. Oh, I can't name it the Field of Diarrhea. Fuck. Um. God damn it. Haha, ha, you live in diarrhea land. <laughs> oh, I love it. Hi, Condi. That's Condoleezza Rice. It, it's not supposed to be, though. Shut up. It's not really Condi. If you know who Condoleezza Rice is, make sure to like and subscribe in the comments. I, I understand why that's a thing, but I still don't like having to do it. I guess I'll stop bitching about that shit. Um, you don't necessarily, in a game like this, want to be putting um, cities so close to... Oh wow, they attack with zero attack. <laughs> I'll take it. I'll take the victory. More victories for my guy. Um, you can upgrade... Oh no, in this game you can't upgrade units. I'll be stuck with a... Super upgraded war. Actually, scratch that. I'm wrong. You can upgrade them once, and it's a benefit you get from building a specific wonder. Um, in this game, they designed... Um, uh, sorry, I can't think and type at the same, type at the same time. Shut your goddamn mouths. 
Um, in this game, um, obviously you can go towards a cultural victory, and you can get towards a cultural victory by doing um, two things. Um, one of them is build wonders, the other one is accrue great people. Um, now when you accrue great people, it actually... Let's see, I do have gold. Uh, put the road. Yep, right there, that works. And then one more. Right up to there. Alright, cool. Um, when you build wonders, when you build wonders and research technologies before other countries, obviously you can only have one wonder, so once you get the wonder, you have the wonder. Um, but when you research technologies before other countries, you get a bonus for being the first people to research it. So, for instance, if you research um, uh, ballistics, or I can't remember the exact name of the, uh, uh, the technology right now, but if you research it before another country, um, it allows you to build cannon units, and as a bonus, uh, you get a free cannon unit um, built in your capital city, usually. Uh, which is a really cool idea. Uh, same thing with uh, same thing with the wonders. You get a, a bonus that only you can get, or you can only get by having the wonder um, for your civilization. Uh, which is a, it, it's a cool setup um, to really kind of incentivize you to not just play as a military. Um, hey, another one. Uh, it, it's a really good way to incentivize not just playing militarily and steamrolling your, your enemies. Uh, because if they have researched enough, uh, uh, enough wonders or enough technologies to get ahead of you, that, then you're just going to end up in a slugfest that you're, you're very likely to lose. Um, and obviously we're not... Uh, oh shit, I have no technologies here. Cultural, okay. <clears throat> i got to work on that then. Let's build Stonehenge, since we seem to have the production here. Uh, barracks, archer, barracks, build unit, I'll build more settlers here. Once I get five cities, I think I'll hunker down and start uh, working on some culture, etc. Let's put the uh, units up there. Okay, just run down here. Oh, cool! I got a nice little forest down here at the bottom part of my uh, city. Roll across diarrhea land there over into Rome. Um, the way there are four ways to win: you can win militarily, techno uh, technologically, economically, and culturally. Um, in order to win militarily, you don't have to capture every city. You just have to capture all the capitals. Um, which normally, you know, your ca the capital isn't, you know, two cities away from uh, your capital, so it's normally a little bit larger stage that you uh, that you work on. Uh, this game's going to be a little different. Um, culturally, you have to acquire twenty um, twenty wonders or great people, um, and then you have to build the uh, United Nations wonder in order to win. Uh, with the economic victory, you have to be the first person to acquire 20,000 gold at once. Not 20,000 total, 20,000 at once. Oh, this is good, this is good. Um, once you get that, you can build the World Bank Wonder, which um, makes you win the game. Um, and then the scientific victory, you have to research all the way up to... Oh, jeez, they're, uh, they're having a fucking war. Damn. Um, the scientific victory, you have to research um, and become technologically advanced enough to be able to build a... Uh, damn it, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, you have to be able to build a uh, space station. Or not a space station, but a spacecraft to take you to another planet to populate another planet. Um, ooh, yay, village. Um... And uh, for that one, it actually, um, technology has to do with industry as well. So you actually have to produce the items as buildings, and then they get sent up into space, uh, which is a cool... Damn, I need to hurry up on my uh, science there. It's a cool feature, uh, for sure. Um, and it, it really... Uh, all those victories really spreads out the way... Or the ways... The myriad ways that you can uh, win the game here. Um... 
Ah, oh, damn it, I was researching that already. Oh, well, I guess that's good. Uh, let's work on pottery. Once we get to masonry, we can build walls, and then once we build walls, we can uh, upgrade our defenses and then just go straight into culture. Uh, once I get archer armies everywhere, I should be able to defend against attack long enough that uh, I won't really have to worry about uh, being invaded anytime soon. There. Uh, one thing I don't like about this game is the really limited diplomatic options. There really is, like, trade, uh, go to war, and that's... I mean, that's more or less it. You can't really do much else. Uh, another grassland. Here we go. Um, 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 um. Um, shut the fuck up. I said shut up. Don't talk shit. It's not your game. You want your game, play your game. Yeah, we got pottery. Okay, that's fast, see? Really catching up here. Ceremonial burial, that's good, that's good. I'm not worried about those. Um... Once you start building up culture, um, your borders will expand due to your impressive culture, basically, uh, which is a cool feature, and it actually um, allows you to... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? It allows you to take over territory and other uh, players' cities uh, more quickly. Uh, see, here's, here's limited diplomatic op options. Uh, they'll ask you to do something, and if you don't do it, um, they'll either declare war on you or just yell at you like assholes. Like, look at this, let's see. War? Yep, yep, we got war. Okay, so, now I'm at war with the friggin' Japanese. So, uh, we're gonna have to, uh, have to do something about that here. Cancel your move and send you in there to, uh, deal with them. In the meantime, what can I... Oh, you're good there. Okay, Stonehenge complete next turn, that'll help. Got settlers, build archers. I'm not even gonna fight fight with these people. Um, build the archer there, and then we've got Stonehenge complete next turn. I'm basically going to turtle down and defend from attack here, uh, just so that I don't really, you know, lose anything in the way of time or resources and. Uh, Eventually, they'll just beat themselves at my door long enough that they'll decide to quit. Uh, which works fine for me. I would rather they quit and leave me alone for a minute. Uh, let's see. Okay, those are all happening well. And then I'll, uh... Oh, shit. That could be bad. Take him out. Take him out. Hit him up. Teach him a lesson. Kill him. Yeah, good. I had the backup stuff there. Aren't you dependent on great unit equal strength? Cool! Okay, we got the combat bonus there. Um, if you defeat a unit of equal or greater strength, uh, you get good, happy, happy love time. Uh, greenery? No, oh, we're gonna work on archers for a minute here. Once we build archer armies and uh, have at least archer armies in every single city, we're gonna. Uh, What's the word I'm looking for? Once we have all that, then we'll be able to focus on other stuff because they won't, uh... Uh... Be able to take my cities easily. Shut up! It's at the bottom of the map. Asshole. Unit... Archer there. Okay, Archer complete in five turns. So as long as nobody goes there, we won't have to worry about the bottom. Come on, fuck with me. Put that Archer there. Yes! Okay. We are using this guy, this uh, boat here, to explore for these things, which are ancient artifacts. Um, the ancient artifacts give you huge bonuses, like advanced military units, or a bunch of great people, or it'll give you a bunch of technologies. In this case, I think this one's Knight's Templar? No, this is the Covenant. Um, temples or cathedrals have been built in each of our cities, so bam, there's my culture bomb right there. 
Um, so that's good. Um, now that I have that in every city, that'll, uh, that'll help with my border expansion. Border expansion will help with, uh... Oh, geez, they're already pushing out legions at me. Since, since they're merely uncivilized. Okay, that's good. That is good, that is good. Things are going well here. Uh, let's throw you back on Daboot. And let's send the boat off in search of another adventure. Oh, shit. Uh, yeah, you're gonna sit there and turn... The more villages you get, eventually, the villages will give you gold, settlers, or, uh, shit, what else? It'll give you gold, settlers, or, uh, technologies, so the more of those you get, the more likely it is you'll actually be able to get technologies, um, which, uh, you know, obviously helps towards any victory, a technological victory specifically, but it, it saves you time in having to research the technologies, which works out really well because uh, if you don't have to research the technology, yeah, I've got my archer army here. If you don't have to research a technology that will allow you to build more buildings that are cultural focused, which will slow down your technology research, but it'll speed up your uh, cultural stuff. Uh, okay, he can reduce the cost of new buildings. You, sir, Let's see. Oh, that was a bad fucking idea. Oh, that was a bad idea. Son of a bitch. Um, that was a great person that can do awesome things. He's gonna get captured by the Japanese there from the looks of it. Oh, I'm a fucking retard. I should have just settled him there. See, that guy's gonna pop down on the road and pop up and grab him. I might be able to get him back, but I doubt it. Let's see, are you even going to be that smart? Yep, you're that fucking smart! Mm. Annoying. That's okay, I'm going to steamroll through you. I'm going to take him back because uh, I, want, I want the bonuses. Um, yes. Alright. No, you activate unit, get in there. Okay, um, ooh, another one, good. Put you in there to keep you from getting attacked. Put you in there. There we go, there we go, there we go, there we go. Okay, more defense, more defense, more defense, defense is good. Especially at this stage where I'm getting attacked here. Uh, where did he go? They're still there, so they'll probably try and go around. I'll see if I can't head them off here. Interesting. Okay, let's see. Masonry, so we can build walls. Walls double city defense. It's a really good bonus, especially early in the game. I have to find that motherfucking dude. Pop down there and give me 25 gold. Okay, that's not bad. Uh, two ancient artifacts still undiscovered. Uh, my favorite one is the uh, Lost City of Atlantis because that one gives you, that one gives you like two to four. Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? It gives you two to four technologies depending on how late you are, like what stage of the game you're at. Like, if you're at super advanced technologies, it doesn't give you as much, obviously, but, uh... He's gotta be traveling with him, or it just teleported him to a city, because he didn't pass by any of our shit, as far as I know. Oh, well, take your fucking great person, you son of a bitch. We're finally getting our legion armies here. Citizens are sophisticated. Yeah, I'm definitely glad I'm working on uh, defense here because uh, they're pushing hard very early in the game. Let's see, and there's somebody else I can meet. I agree, people. What's up? Let's pop you out there. Oh, good. Horseback riding. It was a very basic technology, but a technology nonetheless. It's one I didn't have to research, which allows me to focus on defense or whatever, and obviously, you know, I'm sitting here focusing on defense at this point. Pop you in. Four 
form an army, pop you in there, form another army, pop you there. Uh, let's see, let's build a building here. We'll build a granary. Granary? Call her fucking granary, what the fuck? Uh, one more archer there, one more archer there, one more archer there. And here, I'm not worried about archers, so I will build. Let's see here, look at the bonuses up top. We've got all forms of government are available. Hanging garden, city will have 50% population. Trade will be doubled. This one isn't really producing much. In terms of production, there isn't really too much population growth here. So, can't build a greenery. So we will build a bench hen. We'll build the hanging gardens here. Uh, that'll 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 go from 50 turns to something less once my production goes up. That's the little hammer to the left of the words there. The words, what the fuck, next to the production thing. Um, the more production you have, and that's why factories are so uh, uh, tripled. Production factories are so damn uh, important is because that'll really help you out uh, in the long term. There. Uh, let's see. So okay, we've finished our shit here. Looks like Ass Town's about to take it into, you know, shut up. Or not. Medieval era. Uh, no thanks, I don't need to save right now. Bonerville. I mean, Bonerville, shut up. No, fuck you, get the fuck out. Alright, it's 950 AD and I'm in the medieval era, so... All they are is dust in the wind. Say